going to do a real quick demo of Proloquo to Go for you, um, just in case you're considering it for your loved one or for yourself. So um, the screen that you're seeing right now is called their basic vocabulary. They have two different vocabularies that you can pick one from, a basic one, and then one um, that is called the core vocabulary that you can actually make um, sentences with. So I'll show you this one first. Again, this one's called the basic user, and this is how it comes set up, and then you can edit it from there. You can add and delete buttons or folders. You can make the grid with more buttons or less buttons. Um, I made a folder for you to show you. You can go down to as few buttons as you want, um, all the way up to more and more buttons. So you can completely individualize it the way you'd like with a wide variety of voices and expressions and sounds to choose from. And then um, the other user is the core vocabulary. And I'll show you that one next. That one is set up for people that are more sophisticated users that are able to make sentences and the pronouns and the verbs and all the different forms of speech are color coded and in a particular order um, and then there's folders all down at the bottom to continue on um, making stronger sentences and being able to describe things and uh, things like that so you have you have so many options um, what I love best about it for my daughter is she is a basic communicator but she's starting to be able to form sentences. And I love that this app grows with her because it would be very hard to transition from one app to another and just to spend the money one time and get one that I can gradually add and it will grow with her, I think is a huge feature. Um, having the voices and having the ability to use such a huge symbol library um, but also to be able to add my own pictures if I want to um, add, you know, the voice, the voices that they have to choose from are just amazing, um, so realistic sounding. And then of course, um, when we want to work on typing and spelling, um, we you have the option of having, you know, different keyboards too. So you can have the ABC keyboard, or you can have the regular typing keyboard. And I'll show you what my daughter's looks like that I have set up for her right now. Um, this is my daughter, Abby's, and we are starting to work on trying to teach her to type. And so we have her set up like a typical keyboard. And as you can see, it has word prediction. And all of this is completely customizable, too. You can have the word prediction there or not. You can pick how many words you want to come up for word prediction um, if you want them to come up by the most commonly used words or alphabetical. You can just completely customize it the best way that's going to work for you or your child. So I hope that was a good introduction for you to give you enough information of whether or not it may work for you. So feel free to post questions if you have any.